Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number five from the January 2024 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P2 paper. And here we have a question which has got something to do with series. And it says here, find the value of, and you've got this symbol, okay, which is like the sigma symbol, the Greek letter, and it means a sum of. So it says the sum of. This expression, when you replace r with 1 all the way up to infinity. So basically what they're asking us to do is to find the sum to infinity of this expression. Now we should understand that the sum to infinity um, is only for geometric um, series and it's given by the formula a over 1 minus r. a is the first term, r is the common ratio. So what we'll do is we'll take this sum or we'll take this, uh, you know, expression here and we'll start generating the first few terms and we will work out what the uh, first term is and the common ratio is. So when r equals 1 you're going to get the first term. So you have 6 times a quarter which is 6 so you're going to have 6 times 0 0.25 to the power of 1 which is like a quarter to the power of 1. Okay so it's 6 times a quarter which is going to be 3 over 2. Okay so that's going to be the first term. Plus, the second term is going to be 6 times a quarter to the power of 2. And the next term will be 6 times a quarter to the power of 3. All the way until we have, you know, 6 times a quarter to the power of infinity, basically. It's going to be, you know, you're going to add all of those terms together. Okay. So, the first term, of course, is going to be, 6 times a quarter, which is going to be 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. And the second term, so this is 3 over 2 plus, it's going to be 6 over 16. 6 over 16, okay, which is going to be 3 over 8 plus, and the next term is going to be um, 6 over 64, which is going to be 3 over 32, right? So we can see that. Let's see if there's a common ratio that it should be. I think the common ratio is going to be a quarter because um, we can see that every time you have to multiply by a quarter, if we, even if we look at this, we can see straight away, how do we get from this to this? We have to multiply by a quarter. From this to this, we have to multiply by a quarter. So we can see straight away the common ratio is a quarter without even having to actually do any of this. We don't actually have to find these, except for the first term, you should know it's 3 over 2. But you can see that every time to get from one term to the other, you have to multiply by a quarter. So therefore, the common ratio is a quarter, and it is a geometric series. So we can say the sum to infinity is going to be A, which is the first term, which is 3 over 2, uh, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is a quarter. So it's basically going to be 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 4, which is the same as 3 over 2 times 4 over 3. So your answer is going to be 2. So the sum to infinity, the sum to infinity is going to be 2 sum to infinity of this expression is going to be 2. So that means when you add up all the terms of this expression, um, the sum will get closer and closer and closer and closer to 2. Because as you go along, what you're going to add is going to be so small, it won't make a difference to the you know, main number. So it's going to be like getting closer and closer to 2. All right, so there's the answer to 5 part 1. Then it says a sequence u1, u2, u3 is defined by u1 equals 3, un plus 1 equals un minus 3 over un minus 2, show that the sequence is periodic. Now, periodic means the sequence kind of repeats, numbers in the sequence repeat, okay, um, after a certain number of terms, okay? So basically, what this is, to get the next term, you take the previous term, and you make this fraction, the previous term minus 3 over the previous term minus 2. So if you want to find the second term, we're going to take the first term, which is 3, we're going to take the, the First term, take away 3 over the first term, take away 2. So that's going to be 3 minus 3 over 3 minus 2 is going to give you 0 over 1, which is 0. So the first term is 3, the second term is 0. Then we take the third term, which is going to be the second term minus 3 over the second term minus 2. So you're going to have the second term now we can see is 0. So we're going to have 0 minus 3 over 0 minus 2, which is going to give you 3 over 2. So we get 3 over 2 as the third term. Now the fourth term, 
is going to be the third term minus 3 over the third term minus 2, which is going to be 3 over 2. So the third term is 3 over 2. So the fourth term is going to be 3 over 2 minus 3 divided by 3 over 2 minus 2. So 3 over 2 minus 3 is like 3 over 2 minus um, 6 over 2, which is going to be minus 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 minus 2 is going to be 3 over 2 minus 4 over 2. 3 over 2 minus 4 over 2, which is going to be um, minus a half. Okay, 3 over 2 minus 2 is going to be minus a half. So you end up with minus 3 over 2 divided by minus a half, which is like 3 over 2 times 2 over 1, which gives you 3. So you see that the fourth term ends up as being 3. Okay, so we can see that it's periodic. Okay, um, so we can see, see that u4 is the same as u1. Therefore, okay, it's periodic. Okay, as the terms are going to repeat. The terms will repeat. And you can see every three terms, there's going to be a repeat. So the, the order of the sequence is three. Order three. Why? Because every three terms, the same numbers repeat. Because it's going to be three, zero, three over two, three, zero, three over two. That's what's going to end up happening. Okay, it's going to end up being the same like this. So the period is three. Every three terms repeat. Okay, so there's um, part B of question number five, part two. Now, part C of the question says, hence find the sum from 1 to 70 of un. Okay, so we have basically u1 was 3, u2 was 0, and u3 was 3 over 2, was it? u3 was 3 over 2. Okay, and they repeat it. So 3, 0, 3 over 2, 3, 0, 3 over 2, and so on. Okay, so that's our first term. We've got to find the sum of the first 70 terms. So first we've got to find out how many of these sets fit in 70 terms. So let's do 70 divided by 3, and that will tell us how many sets fit in there. So 70 divided by 3. That gives us 23. You have 23 sets of 3. You have 23 of these. Now, if you do that, if you do 23 times 3, what you get is 69. So that will be the first 69 terms. Okay, so when you finished the uh, 69th term, you'll be on 3 over 2. So we're going to add a 3 to it. So you're going to have 23 times... 3 plus 0 plus 3 over 2. And then you're going to add 3 at the end. Because the, 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 you're going to have finished all these terms. You want to be on the 69th term. The last term will be 3 over 2. And then you're going to have a 3 at the end. Okay, the 17th term. So you're going to have 23 times. Okay, so uh, the sum of... Oops. Let me... Sigma is going to like, look like this. The sum of un from n equals 1 to 70 is going to be 23 times. That's 3 plus 3 over 2. That's going to be uh, 6 over 2 plus 3 over 2. That's 23 times 9 over 2 plus 3. What does that give us? 23 times 9 over 2 and plus 3. That gives us 213 over 2, which is 106.5. So 106.5 is that sum. Okay, so that's the answer to question number 5, part C. Okay, because these repeat every three terms. How many of those will fit in 70 terms? Because we're going to find the sum of the first 70 terms. 23 of them, there will be one number left over, which will be a 3. So you add that to the sum. 23 times the sum of those plus 3. Okay, so that completes number five. And that's the end of question number five from this paper. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist, which will be linked in the link here at the end of the video. Other questions from the um, topic of series, okay, will be found in the playlist over here, series from P2 of um, LXL. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link over here, and you can... Um, 
find or you can watch a video which tells you how to find what you might be looking for from my channel by watching this video which is linked over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.